Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we are actually talking about Facebook because Facebook proves you can't please everyone. Now this is coming from TechCrunch, and here's what's going on. Facebook is notifying users that it's going to remove four information fields from profiles starting next month. These fields include religious views, political views, addresses, and the interested in field, which indicates a user's sexual orientation. Now, this change is going to go into effect on December 1st. A spokesperson for the company talking to TechCrunch, where I'm cribbing this from, in an email said that the reason behind these changes is to make the social network easier to use. And I quote that email. As part of our efforts to make Facebook easier to navigate and use, we're removing a handful of profile fields interested in religious views, political views, and address. We're sending notifications to people who have these fields filled out, letting them know that these fields will be removed. This change doesn't affect anyone's ability to share this information about themselves elsewhere on Facebook. Now, the notice also indicates that uh, users' other information will remain on their profiles the same along with the rest of their contact and basic information, again, assuming you filled those things out. Now, Facebook's decision to get rid of these specific profile fields, according to them, is part of its efforts to streamline the platform, which currently consists of several features that are somewhat outdated. Again, that is writing TechCrunch writing, but according to Facebook, Facebook. Now, it's worth noting, though, that the information fields that Facebook is choosing to remove are ones that other major social networks do not have or offer. Platforms like Instagram and TikTok have very simple bios that let you share just a little bit about yourself without going into specific things like political or religious views. Now, in the past, people may have been interested in filling out their profiles with this additional information, but obviously we are living in the age of privacy infringements and all of that, and so many people are simply not sharing this out. I have, for the record, a personal Facebook account that is private because I need one to administer the public account where you can follow me and watch this video or listen to this podcast on, and this is what we're talking about. But I think that their their response to this streamlining, one, does make sense, but two, it's not the entire uh, issue here. We have seen a rampant, rampant, rampant issue with things like disinformation and all of that, not to mention a deeply, uh, deeply streamlined political divide here in the United States between right and left and all of that. And so if people are putting out their religious or political views, I think that can be potentially contentious in literally the age of contentious political division. And so Facebook doing this, I think kind of makes sense. Now, the interesting thing that they don't say is that they have been successfully able to track everybody and display what your political affiliation is in the past, even if you don't have a political affiliation, meaning you're going in, you can go into the settings and based off of the articles you click on, the ads you interact with and everything else, and what you post because our artificial intelligence is moving on there, even if you didn't put down that you're a liberal or conservative, they've got a pretty good guess of what you are. They're not saying that they're getting rid of that data mining feature based on your interaction so they can sell it to advertisers both on the right and the left, but I think this is what we are talking about here. So overall, I think this is kind of a CYA move on Facebook as they've basically said now that we're in a political season they are not going to censor or fact check any of the candidates recently uh, as you know former president Donald Trump announced uh, his presidency or, or his candidacy excuse me for the 2024 election and Facebook is contemplating bringing uh, the former president back on if you recall in the wake of January 6th Twitter, Facebook, and others uh, basically dropped uh, President Trump's personal accounts and have not let him on the platform since. So we're going to see where this goes, but I think that actually this move actually dovetails with this. Yes, it is streamlining. Yes, we don't want to give uh, Facebook any more information than we have, but to be fair, they already know because when you click on, you know, links that, that are very pro-Christian or Islam or Buddhist or whatever, they start to understand you're a Christian or a Muslim or a Buddhist or whatever you believe or don't. Same with political affiliation. If you're cl constantly clicking on Fox News or you're constantly clicking on MSNBC, they've got a picture of who you are. So either way, while they might be changing this publicly, internally, they're still data mining the bejesus out of you and selling it to everybody. Never forget that. It will always be Facebook's modus operandi. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP, where I may not be able to publicly see your political, religious uh, affiliations or sexual orientation or even your address, but Facebook knows. Same with YouTube. You should uh, uh, subscribe to me there as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everyone.